Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, I hope you're all having a wonderful week. I hope you're excited for a fun weekend and it's only one week until Love Struck, the new EP comes out and I'm so excited. But today we are working on a build challenge. We are back today with another challenge. I am super excited to show you guys what we are going to be making today and let's crack on with the video. So we're gonna start off by making, I think kind of like, a smallish house because we're doing a pack challenge today so I want to make sure we have all the essential rooms I'm thinking maybe we still stick to one story if we can um, but I'm not really sure on how to lay out yet so we'll just see as we go along I suppose I quite like last time having like a little entryway maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger like this perhaps maybe we'll do it front on not side on because last episode um, in my other build challenge we kind of had like a, a side porch sort of thing where you entered on the side which I thought was really cute but this was over this side but today maybe we could still have that sort of porch idea but just not side on maybe I don't know oh I know what we could do we could have this all be glass that might be pretty I think I did something like that when the greenhouse kit first came out maybe we'll do that okay I'm stuck on that, although I have no idea what the rest of the house is going to look like. So maybe this could be the lounge. It's not a budget challenge, but like, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we have like a little conservatory. <laughs> I say little very vaguely. Um, possibly something like this, although this kind of looks a bit funky, the fact that it's one big flat wall, but we'll see. Maybe we could expand this out by one tile, something like this maybe. And maybe this whole open section, we could put like a maybe a gap in the wall like this maybe this could all be like one big room um this could be the kitchen i'm kind of thinking maybe um dining room lounge or other way around that's sort of the vibe i'm going for right now but we'll see this is sort of the vibe that i'm going for i'm thinking maybe open hallway kind of like a porched area with glass all around and we've got kitchen dining living hallway bathroom I don't really know, maybe we could turn this into another bedroom and then two bedrooms back here. I was going to put this as a conservatory, but I don't know. We don't really need the extra space, though we could have a skills room perhaps, and then maybe we'll get some terrible packs. But I am going to be selecting three packs, but they will include every single pack because I do own everything, but obviously excluding the kits that are cast kits. And we are using James Turner's pack generator for today. Um, I think that, that whole generator thing is awesome and it's great for the sort of thing, so props to him. Okay, right, we are now going to be starting on the exterior of this whatever mess this is. Oh my goodness, it's going to look terrible. Okay, let's go and see what we're going to be using. <laughs> Not scary at all. Okay, right, are we ready? Hopefully it's on the screen. I haven't actually done this before, so bear with me, but I'm hoping that it works. And I'm really excited to do these build challenges because I've only done one. <laughs> and it's something new to my channel and you guys like it, so I'm excited. Right, we do have three packs to choose from that is going to generate for us. Like I said, we are using every single pack, kits, game packs, stuff packs, expansions, the whole shebang. So I'm excited. Right, let's see. This is for the garden and the windows. What packs are we using? But cool kitchen stuff for the garden, I mean, could could be worse, could be a lot better. <laughs> How we're going to incorporate that, I don't know. Do we have to include it? I don't really know the rules. I'm just going to make my own rules up. Um, but we are going to be using these three packs, so great. Right, do we have any trees? Oh no. Are we allowed to include base game? I don't think so. Do we have some floors? Okay, we can at least have some tiles okay we can work with this it'll be okay can we use terrain no is there no terrain oh my gosh is it literally just going to be this <laughs> it's the most boring back or front garden ever okay right <laughs> i'm thinking we start like this i mean it could be worse but we don't have any terrain paint so i don't know i don't think we're allowed to use base game so i am going to struggle as you can see but you know we've got a start <laughs> okay so i'm gonna put in some pillars should we put pillars it'd be glowing then though i kind of i like having like columns at the corners of the house oh my gosh do we even have good wallpaper i didn't even think of this this is just oh my goodness okay you can tell i haven't done this before this is like really 
just overwhelming because I'm scared that it'll look terrible and the perfectionist in me has to let it go because we can't make it look good and we don't even have any flowers. Well, I guess we're using these, <laughs> these windows. Um, okay. <laughs> Internally screaming. Okay, right. This is going to be one unattractive house. I mean, it could definitely be worse, don't get me wrong, but like... <laughs> In comparison to what I usually build, because I'm very much a builder, as you guys know, this is just... Oh, goodness. Why, when I place windows, do they never go where I want them to? I'd be awful at the no mistakes challenge. It would just end in disaster, but it's definitely something I'm going to do at some point, because I just think it'd be really funny. Oh my gosh, I think this is literally all we can do for the outside. How miserable is this? Like, what even? This is so sad. <laughs> This is so sad. Oh my gosh, do we even have a bin? We're gonna have to use this really ugly bin. Oh no. Tragic. Right, we're gonna put that there. Um, oh no. I mean, we're gonna have to have a mailbox. We have to. So that's the only thing here that is going to be. I'm just gonna use this cheapy base game one because technically it's not really in the rules. Um, but we have to have it, so it's fine. I, where should I put the bench? Just like put it here. Like It's so sad. This is our exterior, guys. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is so sad. Like the most miserable house in the world. Imagine if you were like, oh, we're gonna go see this house today. Um, not sure I really want to, dear. <laughs> oh god. Okay, we're gonna move on to the inside. I'm not going to decorate this room. It's solely for decoration but i'm just going to quickly go ahead and put in some lights because we need to see we are back we are back on the random generator now this room is for the entrance a kind of like porched area i would have put more windows in it like my visual was kind of like you know eco lifestyle sort of windows very modern a bit like last time when we did actually have the money for it so this is for the um the porched area that isn't really a porch So we do have industrial loft, seasons, and everyday clutter, which to be fair is pretty good. We have so maybe we'll have to go with like a stone because the wood is kind of like giving cabin vibes and it's not really what I'm going for. We have no floor in a sofa or something that's kind of like, yeah, like this sort of vibe. I'm thinking green kind of works. Let's see what we can put in here. I'm thinking we're going to have to put this light. I mean, it seems like the most sensible option. Should put it this side instead because it's a bit crowded over there. Put a potted plant over here because we need to fill the space up a little bit. They're not the easiest things to build with when you're trying to fill up a room, but you know, it could definitely be worse. I'm not complaining. Uh, I think that's pretty much all we can put in this room. My goodness, this is one sad building. Can you imagine living here? Like, it's worse than a starter home, if that's possible. But I'm thinking that's all we can kind of really fit in there. Right, let's see what we get for the dining slash living area. I'm thinking we're going to have to break it up into sections. Or should we just do it as one big room and try and do the dining and lounge in one? That'll be a lot worse, I think. She says it could be even worse if we separate them. I don't know. What should we do? I can't ask you guys, we're not live. <laughs> uh, okay, right, I think I'm gonna do it separately. Might be good, let's hope for something good. We'll manifest something good. And we manifested something bad. Okay. <laughs> Spooky stuff, oh my gosh, this poor house, can you imagine? Imagine this in real life, they'd be like, what kind of mental breakdown did you have today? Um, many. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna look terrible. Okay, I don't even know if we can have a table. We've got spooky stuff, spa day, and fitness stuff. Let's put in some hardwood floor. I'm thinking maybe we'll start off like this because that looks pretty okay. I'm thinking possibly something like this. It doesn't look too bad. I don't think we even have a table. Oh, we do. Oh, we do, and it's quite pretty as well. Okay, I'll live with that. Which chair? We've got minimal choice. <laughs> We're going to go with this one because it kind of matches. Oh, I'm not too unhappy with this now could definitely be worse we've got quite a few options actually right we've only got these curtains so i think we might just not put any curtains in because that's tragic it's really giving cabin vibes is it not a chair maybe something like this that really doesn't match but the other swatch looked a bit strange maybe this one but then the orange kind of clashes which one's worse i think we're going to stick with black because it matches the chair 
hopefully that doesn't like clash with anything and that matches so well what else can you really put in there we could put a bookshelf oh maybe we could do this okay i'm quite liking this room actually surprisingly i didn't think i would but that's not the worst thing although this is kind of all very blocky but I, I need something in the corner but it's a bit tall like i wish it was like gradually going down in a designer's eye i can't help myself in a perfectionist mind um when it comes to my designs and builds i just can't help myself but anyway so i think we're gonna skip on from here now we're gonna decorate the lounge right ready and go oh i didn't press it and go <laughs> what is it gonna be oh yes we've got good ones thank goodness growing together um, a pack after my own heart um, get famous and home chef hustle it's fine what flooring do we have okay i don't like the fact that it's going to clash so we're gonna <laughs> gonna do our best that looks awful we're not gonna do that um could we do this is this the same as the outside no okay that's good I don't really want to have tiles in the lounge, to be honest. Could we do this? This isn't terrible. And we'll have like two chairs, maybe something like this. That looks really miserable. Um, I mean, this is the one that matches. Maybe we'll change it for that coffee table, which I always use. Have we got a TV? We have a massive TV. <laughs> okay. This is the only one we have, but we've got unlimited money, so I mean. 10,000 simoleon tv <laughs> living the dream in this like really unusual house that we have going on have we got any of these um, hallway table things we do um we could put a light over here maybe it could be for reading it kind of gives me matilda vibes anyone else um let's put in some curtains we do actually have curtains so that's good we've got some little white ones this vibe is all sorts of vibes going on i don't really know what sort of aesthetic <laughs> this household is going for they don't really have an aesthetic i think they're the kind of people who just like they say that they like whatever their friends like you know <laughs> when i was younger i definitely had friends like that when i'd like order a meal they then their mum would go what do you want to them i'm not gonna say their name and they'd go oh the same as laura and i'd be like girl <laughs> yourself please um i didn't really mind but i think they're kind of like those type of people where they don't really have a mind of their own necessarily they just kind of like if it's in fashion they're having it you know um that should we just do black and white maybe they could be a photographer right what else what can we have we got any clutter we could put in some kids stuff in here maybe uh okay i mean it's not terrible but it could be better let's put in some plates maybe they were having food or watching a film i mean it's not too bad it's just quite bland there's not much going on but it could be worse so i think we're going to move on to the kitchen now let's hope we actually can have a functioning kitchen because i don't have high hopes as you guys know if you watched last week we didn't have much luck with the kitchen oh goodness i don't well maybe we will have a functioning kitchen to a certain point um i did have to regenerate it a couple of times because it was including the caskets which is really annoying and because we did get horse ranch but then it had a casket so i had to regenerate which is annoying because horse ranch is everything and it's probably one of my favorite packs but we're okay <laughs> castle estate there won't be much with that dream home decorator is the best part of this and the basement treasures treasures kit even so far so good we're managing it could be worse it's not terrible we have counters though so i mean it could be worse do we have an oven we do have an oven okay we just don't have a fridge which technically doesn't make it a functional kitchen but <laughs> we're gonna do our best to see what we can do with it i mean it's not the the most functioning of rooms but it could be worse it looks pretty <laughs> oh gosh okay right let's just at least decorate it a little bit do we have a sink okay we do have a sink but it's going to look very out of place but it's fine <laughs> i think we're gonna put in some storage stuff i don't really know how we're gonna make this actually a functional kitchen seeing as we don't have a fridge um but i guess we're just gonna have to live with it um maybe we could put in some decorative like magazines or something maybe we could put some boxes as if they've like just moved in <laughs> maybe they haven't bought a fridge yet Shh, it's fine 
or pretend that they haven't bought one yet. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to put in a chair or something, maybe let the kids are helping. Even though the chair does not match the dining room, so where they got that magic chair from, who knows, but... Um, <laughs> maybe the mother could be like reading some design magazines or something just to try and like make herself feel better and like maybe she's ordering a fridge <laughs> okay i mean this is our kitchen guys this is what we're working with i i don't even know what to say it could be worse that's literally the only thing i have to say <laughs> i'm thinking this is for the hallway and then we'll work on the bedrooms and the bathroom but for now we're going to do the hallway this one doesn't really matter as much so let's just see what we get and then it's fine. Whatever happens is fine. It's almost not a casket. Like, please don't be a casket. Okay. Home chef hustle again. Um, <laughs> romantic garden stuff. Where were you when we did the outside, my friend? And we've got werewolves. Okay. I mean, not terrible. Not the best. I don't really know how we're going to incorporate uh, romantic garden. But it could be worse. And we've got this floor again. That is way too bright. I'm gonna go with black, but I think I might turn the tiles around because I don't like them this way. Okay. I mean, it kind of matches considering it's not the worst. Okay, we could put in a bookshelf maybe. I know it won't be functional, but I mean, it doesn't look too bad like that. But what is this? This is just. Oh my. Alright then. We're gonna have to work with it. I mean, I don't really know what they're thinking. It literally looks like a house where you've like begun to decorate it and then just kind of gave up and just like shoved a load of rubbish in the corner. Um, but you know, we're living for it. So, oh my, right, shelves. <laughs> Let's put some shelves in the middle. And then we've got a skill item. <laughs> We've got the Grim Reaper's rock guitar in the middle of the room because who doesn't put that in the hallway? We could put in some like weird things. Maybe they could be a collector. Maybe they could be like really like, I don't know what the word is, unique. Should we just call it that? Um, okay, let's downsize that and put this up here. I think maybe they're like a collector of some sort. Maybe that's why they've got a lot of stuff that's kind of random. Maybe they're a bit like Phoebe or Friends where she just likes, likes stuff that has a backstory. <laughs> maybe we'll do this. Okay, we <laughs> are we going to have the bedrooms match this vibe is the question. I'm thinking maybe this could be the parents' room, a child's room, bathroom, and I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> We are going to move on to the parents' bedroom. Let's hope we at least get a bed, because if not, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh no. Actually, we do have a bed with pastel pop, I think. Okay, we've got party essentials. Love that kit. Not for a bedroom, though. Not the vibe. Um, pastel pop, which I can live with. I love pastel pop. And again, spooky stuff. Right, the wallpaper. We're gonna go for like a bright pink. <laughs> Let's have some like end tables. These end tables are honestly adorable. It's probably one of my favourite packs to build with. It just seems a bit overwhelming. <laughs> oh, not that big. That's how big it feels to me. <laughs> so we're gonna make it smaller. It does create a bit of a shadow, which is kind of annoying, but we'll live with it. Maybe we'll have like neon lights on the wall. <laughs> if we put it though maybe over here and we'll move this along a little bit um, what else can we put in here we do have a mirror actually i'm lying we do have a mirror but that doesn't really work above her bed so i don't really know where to put it i look uh, although i would like to include it because it is pretty maybe we'll just like shove it in the corner i wish you could put it down lower because it almost seems so high up room going on maybe we could put some crystals i kind of feel like this person is very much a crystal person you know like the very maybe astrology maybe we'll try and fit in some sort of this light is adorable, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Okay, I think we're gonna leave that room as it is. I mean, it's not the prettiest, but it's definitely not the worst. Okay, now we're gonna move on up to the bathroom because I have a bad feeling. <laughs> I've got a really bad feeling about this room. Let's go, let's see what we get. Please at least have a toilet. Okay. Snowy escape, basement treasure, and eco lifestyle. That's not that bad. But right, we're gonna put in some flooring to start. We've all turned like this. I always use this floor to have a toilet. We do, yay! Okay, we won't have we in disasters. 
we have a shower as well thank goodness okay good do we have a sink we do okay we're safe we're safe <laughs> right i never use this sink i don't think i've ever used this sink my life. oh we got soap as well a girl after my own heart um in case you guys don't know i'm very ocd <laughs> I think it is important to talk about stuff though so that you guys really know who I am like behind the screen. Um yeah, I it's fun, it's really not. Um I kinda wanted to put a wall light on, but like that looks a bit I mean it's not the worst thing in the world. We'll live with it. Okay, we're gonna put in some like cute little what is this called? Hanging painted scroll. There you have it. Oh, we've got quite a lot of stuff. Okay, good. I'm going to put in this little number in the corner. And what else can we put in here? Should we put a big... That looks way too big for this room. Also, I think you can put meat on one of these things, which I find very bizarre. I've never actually tried it myself, so I don't know. But yeah, the whole thought of that is just a bit out there, isn't it? Bathroom box. Maybe we could put like a home box here as if they've like just moved in and there's some homey bits and bobs in there. I mean to be fair, at least we have a functioning bathroom. We have a shower, a sink and a toilet and we've got some decorative pieces as well. Couldn't really ask for more to be fair. Moving on from the bathroom. This is for the kids room. Lord help me. <laughs> okay. That's really good actually. We can live with that. That's pretty good. And we've got dream home decorated, so we've got bunk beds. And we've got toddler stuff. Okay, brilliant. I think we're going to put in a toddler bed and a child bed for this one. So we've got get together, toddler stuff, and dream home decorator. We have a singular bed as well. We'll change it to like a a bluey kind of vibe. That's quite cute, although I really don't like the floor, but we'll live with it. We have a mirror. Do we have a dresser? We do, but which one? No, we don't want the whole cupboard. If do we have we don't have a wardrobe though. I mean we do have a walk-in wardrobe, so we could technically incorporate this into the corner, but it's just a bit big. But I mean it's fine, we'll include it. I've decided we're just doing this. Right, we need a chair. A nice comfy chair. Have we got a computer? We do have a computer. Okay, good. We have an actually like functioning house now. The only thing we don't have in this house is a fridge, which is not good. We could have that on the end. Can we have it in pink? We can. Look how cute that is. But we do have a little doll's house, which is always good. These are actually turned out really well. Okay. Box we could include a little cat on it. Have we got any in here? No, we've got any skills. Kind of, but not really. Um, any decorative things? Not really. I guess we could put in some stuff up here, some little boxes, just to kind of fill up the space a little bit. And then we could put a lamp in, maybe. Have we got anything else? We could use these lights. Okay, this is the kids' room complete. We do have one bedroom left, slash, I don't know, maybe this could be a skills room. We'll try and make a skills room. I did have to stop recording because I thought it wasn't filming my voice and I was like internally crying but we got there it's fine um let's make sure that it is actually recording okay we're fine right this is for the skills room this is our final room for the challenge let's hope that it's not awful let's see please have some stuff we can use okay that's not too bad cottage living why do we have spooky stuff in everything is that just like a loved pack i mean it's certainly not one of my favorites i don't dislike it i'm grateful for it around halloween time don't get me wrong but other than that so cottage living spooky stuff and pastel pop let's see what skill items we have we have pumpkin carving of course we do we're going to put that in here of course that's the skill we need we're in like the window maybe they could like read over here or something look how cute okay although I don't know. I don't know which way it looks better. It kind of looks like a converted like pub room. <laughs> picnic baskets. We can still get. Can we get anything from a picnic basket? I'm not too sure. We're gonna put that up there anyway. Um, the kids can put stuff on this board. I do believe. Um, a squiggly, squaggly communication board. Interesting. Um, maybe we'll put in a little mirror. It can change to color. We'll have like a, a minty color. I think we're done. I think that's the best we're gonna get. 
I I don't even know what to say. Um, we didn't do a back garden, should we? We probably should. To the pack generator. Let's see what chaos we get for the back garden. You ready? And generate. Please don't be a casket. <laughs> and it's a casket. Generate. Okay. Hopefully we'll have some plants with that. Still not high hopes. Seasons, my first pet stuff, and book nut kit. Seasons of love. That's all. For rent. For rent. Did I really just say for rent? It's not a Sims expansion, it's a musical. Rent. For rent. Not for rent, rent. Seasons of love. I love that song. Okay. I mean... Mm. <laughs> This is questionable, but we're going to put in a chimney, I think. That looks so small. We don't have a fireplace, but no one needs to know that. Um, <laughs> what items do we have? Do we actually have any plants? This is so bad. Or oh, we could put this in the garden for the children. <laughs> We've got this as a skill thing. Oh my gosh, this is so tragic. I've never seen that before. I have in the packs, but not. Oh, I quite like that. I've never used these. I should filter by book nook more often, but just not for gardens. What else can we include? We could put an ice rink. Oh, we've got a swing set. Okay. At least we've got something. It could be worse. We've got something for the children. And um, we're going to make it rainbowy, bluey colour. And um, we've got some bumblebees. Maybe we shouldn't put that by the kids' window. <laughs> if we'll put it by the mum's room instead. I don't know whether she's a single mother or if there's a father as well. Haven't thought that far ahead. And what else can we include? I mean, nothing really. We could put some lanterns. No, that's so miserable. <laughs> could we put some outside light in? Is there any outside light in? Not for the walls. Well, I think we're done. I'm done. My brain can't take any more. It's like the most tragic thing in the world. But we did complete a house. We do have an entire house. It doesn't look awful. It looks pretty good considering I'm not fond of... I went to signal with my hand then not the cursor. I'm not fond of this room. I don't particularly love this room. However, I quite like this section. And the kitchen would be okay if we had a fridge. The back bedroom, not too bad. The bathroom, also quite good to be fair and the porch area not my favorite and i don't even want to look at the outside we don't have any plants we have no terrain paint it's just oh. <laughs> try and breeze through it <laughs> but yes with that being said i appreciate you all so much thank you for joining me on this extraordinary experience i'll be back next week maybe i'll see you tomorrow actually um I've got lots of content to come out, but I'm not really sure what I'm doing the weekend. So we'll see, but I'll definitely see you guys on Monday if I don't see you on the weekend. And we'll be back with three speed builds, a build challenge, and a new LP episode. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out the Sims live stream because they were live yesterday and they showed Lovestruck and all of its glory and it was so brilliant. I watched every second of it. Highly recommend getting that pack. This is not a plug in any sort of way. I just, I love it. It looks really cool. I obviously don't have it yet, but I am excited because we are going to be starting the Let's Play properly next week and it's going to be so much fun. So stay tuned for that. But like always, check out all of my links in my description. I do have a giveaway with Instant Gaming, who I am partnered with, and I also have an an affiliate link in my description where you can get discounted packs with the link um, and you can also support me as a creator because a section of the uh, income goes to the creator so I appreciate it very much if you use my link to buy some packs and they're discounted so why not is a win-win for both of us highly recommend and like always if you haven't already don't forget to like comment or subscribe and share it with a friend i appreciate it and i will see you guys next time i wish you all the most wonderful weekend a wonderful day and thank you for joining me see you next time bye guys don't say we drifting apart i can't stand to see you with another